How's it going? It's Justin with Rossi Real Estate. We're here with the local nonprofit organization, Reno Bike Project. I'm here with Noah Silverman. He is the executive director, and we're gonna talk a little bit today. Noah, how is Reno Bike Project different than your typical bike shop? Well, our goal is not to make money. Our mission is actually to just get more people on bikes. And so we do that in a number of ways. But the biggest way is that we provide an affordable resource for the community. So people, irregardless of how much money they have, can come down and fix their bike or get a bike and get back on the road. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, I mean, more people on bikes is, is the motto, right? Exactly. More butts on more bikes more often. More butts on more bikes. I like that. Um, talk about some of the programs you have going or are you just a bike shop? So we're more than just a bike shop. Um, as I mentioned, our bike shop provides an affordable resource and so kind of the biggest aspect of that is our public workstations where you can come in and for four dollars an hour use the tools and get help to fix your own bike. So if you can't afford to go to a shop or you just want to learn about it, you can come in anytime we're open and rent a public workstation and fix your bike. And that's kind of partnered with the fact that we have thousands of used parts that have been donated and then recycled and they all start at $3. Okay. So wow. if you need a new stem or your crank set fell off, we have all those parts inexpensively. You're going to get out of here for a fraction of what you would normally get at a normal bike shop. That's pretty good. Four bucks an hour is, that's not bad for, for bike tools and you come and you have assistants, right? You have right. people that are working here at the same time. Right. We, we have, have, we have two, people, two staff members in our public workstations all the time. So even if you have no idea how to do it, don't let that stop you. Come down, we'll help you. Make sure you get out of here. Okay. Um, how about kids? Do you guys, uh, I heard something about camps or do you do classes for, for learning how to ride bikes? We have actually a wide range of educational classes that we host. Um, like you mentioned, the kids classes. We have our major tail program, which, bear, which is a, a riding and ride skills program okay. um, for middle school and up kids middle school to high school, they range in length from one week camps to semester long camps. So we partner with several different schools and organizations to bring that to the schools so that the kids ride anywhere from three to five days a week for a semester. Gotta get kids on bikes. And then we have uh, one week camps in the summer and in spring and fall break where it's half a day, three hours, and they, we come and ride bikes and learn and kind of have a good time. And uh, we have uh, a little event coming up, uh, Burning Man. Uh, everybody knows about Burning Man. Bikes are kind of the universal language out there, so how does that affect you guys and how is that a part of your business? So we've been kind of working with Burning Man for almost 10 years now, um, supplying uh, event attendees with bikes. Um, and that program for that has grown quite significantly over the years. This year we hope to sell almost a thousand bikes wow. for people going to Burning Man. That's, that's, that's a lot of bikes. And it's actually a huge fundraiser for our organization, uh, and it's really kind of helped us to get to the next level um, through keeping our staff on and all winter and, and having really nice large locations and yeah. um, being able to serve more people. Yeah, to support the nonprofit, right? Right. Keep it running. Thanks for joining us. Uh, Noah, thanks for having us. Uh, we'll see you guys next month.